P3 stands for Peak Performance Project. P3 is the first performance facility to use advanced sports science technology to assess and train athletes. Really, we started borrowing technology that primarily only existed in a, a laboratory or research setting, and we brought it into this applied setting where athletes are training and, and working hard on a daily basis to achieve better performance. We're using physics, we're using technology to develop smarter plans for athletes. At P3, we only work with professional collegiate athletes. Our mission is to take these elite athletes and make them better. We kind of just start as a destination for individual athletes wanting to come and have a place where they can improve. Teams throughout the world really started understanding that what we were doing was unique and then had a lot of value. And so we started working with the NBA six years ago. My name is Malcolm Brogdon. I play for the Indiana Pacers. I train here three days a week. It's the way they sort of examine your body, assess it at the very beginning. The assessment process is very detailed, using all the camera angles, using the weight plates, using everything they do to really give you the best results. When an athlete comes to P3, assuming that they're healthy, before we train them, we want to know what they need to work on. So our process at P3 starts with an initial assessment warm the athlete up very well. We'll go over their injury history in detail with them. We'll do a mobility screen, but then we want to really quantify how they're moving close to hopefully a max effort. So force plates are essentially high-tech scales. At P3, we have them embedded in the ground. What the force plates give us is ground reaction forces. And we can go and understand and identify key points within these time curves that have different associations with injuries, different associations with performance. And what the motion capture gives us is kinematics. So we can look at a joint by joint level of what is going on, the knee, the ankle, the hip, as athletes are performing as hard as they can. It allows us to really, in a detailed fashion, quantify how this athlete is moving. It's something like you see straight out of TV, something you see since you were a kid. You know, like the 2K stuff, the, the movie stuff. You're like, oh, all right, this, this is really happening. Like, this is like, this is all science, this is high tech. They're really about to like, you know, test my body, see how I move. So once we've done all the, the processing and we've been able to kind of create these skeletal replications, right, the next step is to begin to export all the data. And this is an example of the number of the different movements that we're able to track and understand. So a variety of the variables that we can pull from the motion capture start with things such as simple flexion extensions, but then is to kind of match that up with a variety of the different characteristics that we can pull from a force play that include forces, accelerations, velocities. The list is really endless in terms of the, these different characteristics that can give us a really unique perspective into the athlete in front of us. A lot of people can collect data. It's what you do with the data that matters. And so our team now consists of six biomechanical engineers. We have data analysts that we consult with, and they work very closely with our strength coaches to take this data and create a plan of action and a course of action for this athlete. Every time I come in here, you know, I get better, whether it's, you know, an inch here on something that we're jumping or it's getting fast, like today uh, on my slides, I got my thing from now from like a 2.8 to a 2.66, so, you know, it's a big jump. The way that it's so personalized and detailed for each athlete is amazing. So the future of athlete development involves much more precision and a much more quantified approach to how we develop and care for athletes. P3's had this philosophy and methodology since we started in 2006, and I think we've really helped catalyze uh, the vision for the future uh, throughout pro sports, especially here in the United States. And so the future is, is just continuing to get smarter with how we're developing athletes. It's continuing to integrate technology that gives us actionable insights with athletes. And the future for P3 is being able to utilize better data tools.